One thing that gives me endless joy as a programmer is making projects. I love being able to unleash all of my creativity in the hopes of one of my ideas becoming a billion dollar startup. As much as that hasn't happened yet, there's one thing that makes me even sadder and that's having to configure an authentication and database system at the beginning of my project because it stops me getting straight down to the code and absolutely going ham at building out my idea. It's admin at the best of times and that's why in today's video, we're going to speed run the process with React and and Firebase. React is hands down the most popular JavaScript front-end development framework on the planet at the moment, although this will work for Next.js 2. And Firebase is a platform as a service that will handle all the heavy backend logic lifting for our authentication and database in addition to them having an absolutely fat free tier. So you can get your projects up and running for free and not have to worry about any deployment costs or hosting or any of that stuff. As always, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like and subscribe buttons. The guide is linked in the description down below. And with that all said, let's get started. All right, let's start this timer and get our project underway. So the first thing we'll do is run this installation command right here. So it's gonna be uh, npm create vite at latest uh, then we'll name our project. So I'm going to call it ZZZXXX. I have no idea, whatever you want to call it. Then we'll go dash 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 template. Uh, and we'll use a React template. Now we're going to go ahead and open up in Visual Studio Code Editor. So that's going to be code ZZZXXX. Uh, open that bad boy up. With that in here, we're going to open up a terminal because we have a few more things to do. If we come back to the guide. The next thing we have to do is run npm install Firebase. So that's going to be npm install Firebase. Uh, I have a password. Let's see if I can fill that out quickly. Oh, got it wrong. Wouldn't be a speed run if we didn't have our technical challenges. Now, the next thing we have to do is create some files. The first one is going to be a firebase.js. Uh, after that, we've got a source, new folder, context. In here, we've got not a new folder, new file, auth, context.jsx. Uh, then we've got a .env file. That's pretty easy, .env. Uh, and then it looks like we've got two components. So the first one, we'll create a folder and then in here we're going to have a login.jsx we'll initialize a react functional component in there and then we'll have a dashboard.jsx initialize that too after that we can start copying some code across so this code right here goes into our firebase.js uh, it essentially initializes our Firebase app, configures the configuration using the keys that will later be stored in our .env file, and then exports a auth and database that we can access throughout our project. Uh, next up, it looks like we're going to be filling out the auth context.jsx. So if we just copy that and paste it into our context, auth context right there, that just exports a use auth hook that will be used throughout our project in addition to uh, creating a wrapper component that has some auth methods, sign up, login, and log out, manages the user state, and just uh, creates a wrapper for our entire application. After that, we can set the env variables. So this is what our file is going to look like. We'll fill out these keys later. Uh, and then we have to create the login component. So the login is just some simple inputs, some buttons and manages the state. So we'll just replace all of that. The dashboard is going to display some methods that allow us to manipulate the database uh, and allow us to log out. You can read more about the CRUD methods right here. And now we have to update the app so this is what the app.jsx is going to look like. Uh, and I'm just quickly going to remove the imports for the, uh, well, actually, no, it doesn't matter. Let's just come into the main. We also have to update the main.jsx so that our auth provider then wraps the entire application. You can see in here it doesn't at the minute. So with that done, it's time to initialize our Firebase database. We're at 3 minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Let's be quick about it. We'll hit get started in here. 
let's see, we're going to add a project. I'm going to call this zzz-xxx. Uh, we're going to hit continue. I'm not going to use Google Analytics. Come on, you can do it Firebase. I believe in you. Uh, I don't know that there's anything else we can do while we wait for this. This is possibly the slowest part of the entire process. Uh, we have our dashboard, we have our auth context, everything seems pretty happy. Uh, new project is ready, let's hit continue. Inside of our project, the first thing we want is authentication. If we hit authentication, we can hit get started as described in the uh, docs, in the guide. Once we're in here, we're going to choose email and password. There's obviously a load of them. We'll enable and we'll hit save. Uh, you could equally go for any other authentication method of your choice. Then we'll come over to the menu. We'll go build and we want Firestore database. Once we are in the database, we'll create the database. Once we have created the database, we need to select a name and location. The default location is typically pretty good unless latency is going to be an issue for you. And then underneath my head, there is a next button. We'll hit next. And we're going to start our project in test mode so that the read and write methods for our database are open, uh, which is better for testing and development. And then we'll hit create. This is going to provision our cloud Firestore, that resource for our project, uh, which can then be accessed which can then be accessed via these uh, things inside of our Firebase. Our database is right there. Now that that's all provisioned, we're going to come to the project overview. From here, we're going to start up a web application. We're going to name it James is uh, a weapon, just like that. We'll hit register app. That's going to come down to the Firebase SDK where we're going to have to install uh, Firebase. We've already done that, but now we get our secret keys. This might look familiar. If we come into our .env, we're gonna store them all in here. So I'm just going to paste them down here and then one at a time, copy and paste them up. So that's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. Lucky number four, lucky number five, and lucky number six. So that's all done. We can save that file and I think we can continue to the console. If we come down here, 651, that might be everything. I think it's time to run our application. So if we come into our terminal and type npm run dev, hit enter on that, that's going to boot up our application uh, why do we have a permission error? Hmm, let's go uh, sudo npm run dev. Why is this being difficult? Once again, it wouldn't be a project without its difficulties. Now we can come over to localhost 5173, uh, 7.23 on the clock. The failed to resolve component log in. We have to make sure that that is imported. Uh, why is that not imported? We can quickly update that. That's in our app login from components. Let's just make sure that's .jsx, save that. Did we save them? Components, did I name, ah, oh, component. That's silly me, look at that. Rename components, debugging as well. Let's just reboot that application uh, that starts up. We've got a user email and password 123 at 123.com. Quickly type in the password. We'll go sign up. Hit submit. That should create our account. Oh, look, we're signed in. And if we come over to our authentication, we should see a new user right there. And now if we hit increment the database, and then come over to the Firestore database, that should have created a record from that user right there with the timestamp, with the counter. If I hit that again, we should get a new record. It's updated. Uh, and finally, we can log out, and I think we should be able to log in again just to confirm it works. This time we're not signing up, and we do, and we can 
increment the database again uh, number three and even if I refresh the application it will save and store that uh, logged in state and that's literally it that's our speed run stop the clock nine minutes and seven seconds for you to get your projects up and running as I said before this guide is linked in the description down below Firebase is absolutely brilliant I use it for all of my projects if you enjoyed the video, smash the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Learning to code? If so, be sure to check out the Small James Web Development Roadmap. Link is in the description down below or dive straight in with these videos.